Um, so today, my video, um, I wanted to say that um, I went out last night. <laughs> I went out last night and I sat with um, a bunch of my friends, really good friends of mine, really, really good people, like really good people. We sat there, we had dinner and stuff, and then um, we laughed a whole bunch. Like, not just like, ha, 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 that was funny, but like really, really like laughed, like a, like a lot. And it was really fun. It was, um, you know, a good mix of like people I don't see all the time, but you can like pick up like, you know, whatever, like um, people I see all the time and it's just amazing. And then, you know, I met some new people and stuff like that, but really had so much fun last night. Went to a tequila tasting, my friend, has a restaurant and he does like a tequila tasting thing or whatever. I didn't drink because I'm on my uh, workout thing. But um, after that, we all just laughed and mostly at my expense, but it was fine. Um, but it was just like so funny. I, you know, really like uh, all of my friends. They're actually really cool people. And today I went into a workout and, uh, you know, it was just, I fell and it wasn't like, Oh my gosh, fell, whatever. It was actually hilarious because I was doing something I probably shouldn't have been doing because I'm always trying to like push it, push my limits. I have my inner athletes finally coming out. And I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna screw around and do something and I completely fell. And that too was freaking hilarious. It was so freaking funny. So I don't know, I'm gearing up for this birthday party that I have on Friday and I'm so excited to see a lot more of my friends and just celebrate. We're having this crazy flood here in Austin. My backyard's starting to get a little floody. So I'm a little nervous about it. So it went from like an outside thing to a inside thing. And I'm really excited about having everyone come over and just like have fun. So I am gonna use that day to like have some drinks and cake and stuff like that. So I'm excited. But the reason why I'm talking about this, the laughing and stuff like that, is because right now today, I am surrounded by people I never thought I would ever know in my entire life. I never thought I would know these amazing people that I have in my life. And I never thought that they would love me. And I never thought that they would care about me the way that they do. And they stood by me when I was going through a really tough time. And they were like really there for me. But the big thing about it is for the people who are going through it right now, the woman who's cleaning the house before the guy gets home because you don't want to get yelled at or the man who's trying to rush home and not get stuck in traffic because you're afraid of being five minutes late and getting yelled at for the people who are being abused on a regular basis day in and day out whether it's physical or verbal mental emotional any of it all of it um there is hope after you let go there is a life after you let go there is happiness there is this amazing life I guess I, I have to say like after you let go of that toxic person and letting go of that toxic person is anything but easy it wasn't easy for me um, I didn't just wake up one day and say I'm not gonna be with this person anymore I had to go through hell a couple times to really let go of this person um, and letting go of him meant letting go of everybody in his life and that was really hard for me I have um, no contact with almost everyone in his life I have contact with maybe one person still in his life and that person I'm not letting go of and you know who you are but um it's letting go of everything it's letting go of all the stuff that you're so afraid to let go of it's all the stuff that you're afraid of let that stuff go give yourself time to heal and recover and surround yourself with the very best people that you can because one day months from now weeks from now years from now you're gonna be laughing like a crazy person, like in public, about the craziest stuff, freaking dead ass soba. And you're gonna look around you at a table and you're gonna be like, how the hell did I get so lucky? I don't know how I got this lucky. I don't think I deserve the people I have in my life because I guess I never thought I deserved anything good. And now I live in a home that I love. I have the people in my life that I wouldn't get rid of for anything. I have my kids, they're great really worked hard on my relationships um, after this toxic relationship ended. So although it's going to be hard and it's gonna be painful and it's gonna suck and you're gonna have to let go of the things you feel like you don't ever wanna let go of, um, you will be able to live again as long as you heal properly, as long as you get the help that you need. For me, it was Celebrate Recovery. 
I was my therapist, a lot of really good support from my friends. Some of my friends didn't know how to help, so they just stood by and hung out with me. Others, you know, had some good words. Um, others waited until after I healed to say some stuff, um, which I respect because they never left my side. And I don't know what I would do without the people I have in my life right now. So if you are going through this, if you are in this, if you are living in a home and you're checking a phone and you're worried about him cheating and you are afraid of who's going to be walking through that door, a sober person, a drunk person, if you're afraid that they will leave for work and then not come home because they're off drinking and doing different things, or if they're you know calling you names and putting you down and you're afraid to do anything, you need to really consider leaving. As tough as it is, it's a ridiculously brave thing to do. Take that one step, one foot in front of the other if you have kids. You need to think of your kids. Like I said, it's not easy. This isn't going to just happen and you're gonna wake up one day and be like, I can do this. It's gonna take a lot of strength. But you have to make the decision to do it and once you make that decision to do it, I think from there, things will fall into place. But do not put it off for much longer because right now, I'm literally living 